Well, folks, here we are with another video sample on the Pixel 7 Pro, and this is their cinematic mode. This is something that we were all excited about at one point, but pretty much everyone's forgotten about it. The Pixel 7 Pro has gotten several updates, and how many of them affected the camera? Well, I didn't even look. I know that one thing, I love to shoot in cinematic mode, and so I want to give you an updated vlog with the camera showing just cinematic mode. Not very well could go outside and walk around in the sunlight, but it is very cold out there today, and that's not going to happen. So, the Pixel 7 Pro was named uh, Phone of the Year for a ton of people. So, um, you know, I, I chose the 6A for Phone of the Phone of the Year. I didn't do a video on it. I've said this multiple times. I didn't do a video. But I did, in fact, tell you guys uh, multiple times that the 6A was uh, a well-rounded device that doesn't cost a lot, that has the same pretty much great performance on the cameras, the battery, the software. Everything was pretty much just spot on with the 7 Pro. Some people really get up in arms about that when they hear that because they say, oh, it doesn't have this, it doesn't have that. But in reality, the Pixel 7 uh, Pro, it does a lot. I, I, I'm not going to say it doesn't do a lot. But there's a lot that the Pixel 6a does as well, and it does it pretty much the same as the 7 Pro. When it comes down to it, the average consumer versus a techie, we're all doing the same thing. We're vlogging, we're doing social media, we're doing all these things that people do with their smartphones. So, cinematic mode. Now, I recently took the 14 Plus on a walk with me, and I showed the cameras because people really love to hate that device. And, you know, I, I think it's, it's got to be one of the most hated iPhones uh, uh, in, in a long time. Uh, but the Pixel 7 Pro, once I started to put this cinematic mode against other devices cinematic mode, the iPhone in particular, I realized that it needed some work. Um, the iPhone outside looks phenomenal. Uh, when vlogging in cinematic mode, as long as the lighting is right on a lot of these devices, you can get some fantastic cinematic video. Now, the downside to this Pixel 7 Pro cinematic video is it's starting off exactly like the iPhone did initially with 1080p, 30 frames per second. Basically, that's the only option for cinematic mode. Now, there's a icon that you swipe over and you can get to it, uh, but that's about it. You just turn it on. And also, another thing uh, is it's only available on the rear camera, so right now, I have to trust, I had to check and make sure I got myself in view. Uh, and, and that's pretty much it. I'm not using any kind of external microphones, even though the Pixel 7 Pro can use an external microphone, I'm not using one. And I don't have any lighting going on right now. There is a window from my office that's partially cracked, giving you this type of footage uh, coming out of the Pixel 7 Pro. So you tell me, what do you think about the Pixel 7 Pro cinematic video, if given an opportunity now, months later, uh, with some software updates. And again, I'm not sure if the software updates had anything to do with cinematic video, but one software update I do want for cinematic video for the Pixel 7 Pro is front video, cinematic video, and 4K video, cinematic video. Now with the way Google operates, I'm pretty sure they can add this through the software. I know that it's possible. The Tensor chip totally can handle it. I plugged in an external microphone, 192 kilohertz, plugged it into this device, with these, and it's right here. It's the, it's the mic that I use for, you know, vlogs or, you know, YouTube videos. I plugged that into the Pixel one time, and whoa, I, I was surprised at how well it handled it. So, um, but no video out uh, through the Type-C on the Pixel, which is, you know, it's okay for me right now. But I will say that the Pixel 7 Pro has great audio because it has that voice enhanced audio. So vlogging with this thing, you know you're going to be in view. You know you're going to get some pretty decent uh, video overall when not using cinematic video. But this is cinematic video. So this entire phone video is being filmed with the Pixel 7 Pro for those that are kind of skipping around. This is cinematic video on the Pixel 7 Pro, a feature that I love to use. I, I shoot with a Sigma lens. So any kind of vlogs or anything like that, anytime I, I feel like I can do a cinematic video, I am going to do it. I think that's the best look. It gives a sharper look and image of the person in view. It makes the vlogs look great, it blurring out the background a little bit and just making sure the subject is in view. Now, sometimes phones can over sharpen the image and you'll get 
not so great. It, it'll, it'll, you'll have a really sharp image of the of the person or the subject, and then the background will be too blurry. And I think some people were saying that about the Pixel, if I'm not mistaken, but I personally feel like the Pixel cinematic video, when I first got it out the box, I was wild by it. I even said it's right on par with the iPhone, but then again, I had to circle back around and give it a true test. And the Pixel 7 Pro definitely needed some updates and some some improvements to catch up to what iPhones are doing with their cinematic video. Because now on the 14 series, you can go ahead and have 4K. Again, Apple started with 1080p as well, but even that 1080p looks really solid. So I wanna take the Pixel out for more vlogs. I wanna use the Pixel on my car channel more. It does fantastic with 4K 60 video. I'm not having any heating issues. There's just been no issues when using the camera on the Pixel 7 Pro or the Pixel 7 this back there. So for me, shooting vlogs with phones is one of the most important things because cameras to me with a with on phones today, they have to be good based on what I'm doing on my channel because I'll whip out a phone and shoot a video real quick in one take and keep it pushing. And this video right here is going to be one take because I do it like this sometimes not to make it Obviously, I want to make it easy on myself for editing, but I don't do it like that all the time for that reason. I want you to just get a raw video, no edits, going straight to YouTube because YouTube does some kind of compression to where they already mess with the bitrate a little bit too already, and you don't get the full just of what the, what the video looks like right off of the phone. So, with that being said, how do you think the Pixel 7 Pro did in this vlog and cinematic video straight uploading it to YouTube? Is this something that you'd be interested in if you were a vlogger and this is all you had? It's your man Jay. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.